Here's the thing about owning animals that uh, have to be outside. You don't always wanna do the chores for them. Like, I don't wanna be out here right now. I don't wanna be doing this, but um, you gotta take care of them. So the plan today is um, I have kind of been like rolling around in my head how to make a PVC drop down curtain for the big rabbit hutch and the buck hutch um, and how to do that on a budget and how to do that so it's it's easy to do because I've just never seen a drop down curtain idea that makes sense to me I guess so the plan is we're taking PVC and we're gonna try to run it along the top of the rabbit hutch and um, we're gonna try to make like a crank handle with PVC. So that's the plan. Hopefully it works. The second thing that I am doing this weekend, hopefully, hopefully I can get it all done this weekend, um, is we need to do some winterizing in the chicken coop as well. So really this whole weekend has been about winterizing. But here we go. So we're gonna get busy on this and hopefully it works the way that I have it in my head. Here's kind of what I'm thinking for like the crank handle. So this is the PVC pipe. And then the end of it, I'm just gonna just put that on there and like super glue it and that away, this will allow it to crank down like that. I just, you know, stood in lows and tried to figure out uh, what shape would be best for that. And originally I was thinking like something like, something like an actual like crank handle like this. But I actually think this T shape might actually be better. So we'll see. So the next thing that I need to tackle, and I'm not sure if I'm going to get it all done today before I run out of daylight, but um, our the roof of our chicken coop is just metal, so when the chickens go to roost, um, they can almost touch the top of the roof, and so I'm getting a little bit concerned that if there's condensation on there that freezes, I don't want them getting their feathers stuck to the top of the roof or anything, so I got this. DIY foam insulation and we're gonna glue it to the top of the roof. I really don't know what the best glues and stuff like that are for the type of thing that I was going for, but I found this one. It just says silicone metal um, 
and waterproof, so that's what we're going for. I'm probably gonna have to cut this to size, but for the most part, I think this might be pretty easy. I just hope that I have enough daylight left. I'm so mad because it's literally like probably less than an inch off. Like I'm gonna still have to cut it down. dries um, on both the uh, insulation and my hair uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more pine shavings in here for these guys and I'm also gonna see if I can add maybe some insulation like on the bottom of the nest box because I bet I could make it fit kind of tight in there and then our eggs wouldn't freeze if they would actually start laying eggs in the nest box <laughs> If I were a chicken, I would want to lay an egg in there. <laughs> Somebody in the comments is going to say something that's going to be revolutionary to me about how to get this insulation to stick on the metal roof. I don't have any other good ideas, so um, I went and I got some super glue. Also, don't judge me for sitting in chicken poop. I'm a farm girl. I live in poop. <laughs> I just gotta keep this pose for 30 seconds. Uh. Oh. Stop. Why does this hate me? I actually thought that the, uh, the chicken coop would be the easy part today. Nope. All right. I'm just gonna screw in a piece of wood on the top. Because at this point, it just needs to be done. So I'll figure out how to make it pretty later on. But right now, I just gotta get it done. next day and it seems that we winterized right on time. <laughs> I'm glad that I got the uh, drop curtain done on the rabbit hutch when I did because this would have been quite messy. Here is what it looks like after a night and it held up really well. I'm actually really happy with it. If there's one thing that I wish that I would have done differently it's at these anchors here. I don't know if you guys saw me the way I did this, but I screwed in these eyelets down here. Let's see if I can focus. I screwed in these eyelets down here and um, it goes all the way up to the top. There's another eyelet up there. It just keeps the entire uh, curtain kind of anchored to the hutch so it can't blow out. So if there's a big wind, it's not gonna be able to go 
further than that. Um, but I actually wish that I would have made them tighter, so I'll probably come out here later on and um, tighten them. I have realized that my little crank idea, um, actually it doesn't work as well as this shape over here, I'll show you. So this is actually a much better shape to have as the crank, so I'm actually cranking it from the opposite side now. Um, and I did the same thing on the butt hutch. I thought this was gonna be the crank, but no, it is actually this side. This is much easier to crank up, so um, there is that. The one problem that I had with the butt hutch is um, the duct tape came off, and I think that's my fault. I don't think I had it up enough, and I can't really fix it right now because it's wet, so. I'll have to wait on the next dry day to do that. But I did add, like to the entire thing, I added uh, some zip ties because we all know zip ties are like my best friend. So there's zip ties all the way around it. And so that is holding it on there um, for the most part. I don't love how I did this either. I cut it too short so it keeps like slipping out of here and then it'll like fly out. Let's keep having to go like that so there are little things here and there that I'm gonna have to fix but overall I feel comfortable releasing this as a blog post um, just I'll show you guys how to do it correctly <laughs> instead of making the mistakes that I made so instead I get to make the mistakes for you uh, plenty of ventilation but the wind can't come in and like gust like straight into the rabbit hutch and that is ideally what I wanted to accomplish, so I think it worked out well. Maybe we rose too fast, maybe we got too high. Yeah, I so I think that looks really, really good. I'm happy about how easy it is to roll up. Um, I still need to glue the pieces together because they do get loose, so any connectors that you have on the PVC pipe, you gotta glue those. So I will be doing that. But overall, I'm really happy with this, and I think it's really gonna help the rabbits this winter who stay out of the wind chill. I should have prefaced this video with why I'm doing this. Um, the main reason when you're winterizing rabbits, the main thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you keep the wind off of them because the wind is not your friend. It's snowing very, very mildly right now, so I'm just going to leave it open for them so they get a lot of airflow. Um, it's not actually that cold today, it's like in the 30s, so they can get a little bit more air. And yeah. Happy bun buns. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is I did finally get the chicken coop all winterized, so that is good. Um, and they don't wanna come out today. So I'm just gonna open this and I'm gonna show you what I did. The roof um, still needs work and I figured out the solution to that as well. So I'll talk you guys through that in a second. So we have the nest box here, open up and it looks more like a cave. I think the ladies have already been in there. They're not messing with any of the insulation that I put in the bottom there. And I'm really happy that I got to put that in there because I think it's gonna help the eggs not to freeze. So um, overall, I think that worked out really, really nicely. And they're probably gonna freak out when I open this. Hopefully not. Hey guys, how's it going? So I did put their food and water in here for right now. They did not wanna come out this morning, so I just brought them the water. Um, and yeah, for the most part, they are happy and warm, right? Except not now, because I'm letting all the cold air in, right? So as we all know, there's no such thing as a clean chicken coop. So pardon all of the poop on the walls. Um, the top, the insulation is on there. I had to put this board up yesterday because I was getting really frustrated because that glue just was not holding these up there, even though it was like for metal. Um, but I figured out a solution to that problem. So there's a type of expanding foam insulation called Great Stuff, and you can buy it at Lowe's. I've used it before, I've used it plenty of times actually, and I did not think yesterday about how I could have used that as an adhesive. I'm sure that doing it like this is kind of weird. It's just the way that I'm trying to keep these guys warm. So you can actually use it, you can use it very sparingly, put it on the metal part first, and then put your foam board up against it. And then that acts as an adhesive, and that's how I should have done it. And so a couple of these are still very loose in here. Um, the board is holding them up, the board that I screwed in is holding them up, and so that's fine. 
um, but I need to go pick up some great stuff and I need to redo that and so that's how I should have done it. But at least if you guys are in a similar situation um, as I am, then you will know how to do it <laughs> and you won't have to make my mistakes because that's what I'm here for. <laughs> I hope this video helped you out with uh, winterizing. So um, I'm really happy with uh, all the stuff that I finally got done. It should have been done sooner, but um, it's better late than never. And uh, I really thank all of you who uh, reached out and wished my mom and I well as we were dealing with the virus. Um, we're both doing a lot better. So um, thank you guys so much for that. And uh, yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.